Good day everyone and welcome. Before we start we have a disclosure. Please be aware of risk in the future trading. Uh, before we start with the other auto trades, we're going to look at uh, the uh, signal automated trade. Let me give a little uh, more detail about uh, the signal auto trade. Uh, on the signal, on the uh, the NT8 uh, version, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven auto trade. We have the scalper. This is eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen auto trade. On the signal here, you have five automated to trade. Trading, I mean, there is there is uh, the signal from the pull entry, pullback entry. There is uh, a full automated ATM strategy, and uh, uh, there is uh, there is a uh, uh, you can use the FIB as a re-entry. You can use the signal as an entry, and uh, there is so much. You can do with those auto trades and you can use them on a different time frame from one minute to uh, 15 seconds as we have shown uh, on the other uh, uh, channel when we go live so uh, there is a lot and this is uh, the same uh, signal coming from the market analyzer but this one here is a base on 15 seconds if you want to use the 15 second or if you want to you can use the one minute uh, the one we as we are showing uh, here on the market analyzer so the market analyzer at the moment based on the last entry signal not the whole day based on the last entry signal we have 1864 ticks into the profit if you don't have the whole amount of money to trade all of them you don't need to trade all of them we can take the first three one trade on the es one trade on the es based on the last entry 200 almost 200 take now is 197 one 200 takes made based on one contract 2500 nasdaq 929 takes based on one contract and the YM is 168 170 takes based on one contract so if we don't have money for all of it we can start trading the ES Nasdaq and Dow Jones and those three here uh, there is a very good size of takes into the profit based on the last entry signal not the whole day again not the whole day so this is uh, very impressive and then you have confirmation on on uh, that the trend if it's weak or strong uh, you have the entry you have the auto trades goes with it you have the re-entry you have the reversal if you want to reverse and you have the target and then the trailing is stop so this is a very uh, uh, very good if you wanted to also in conjunction with the auto trade and you understand the market that will give you a lot more advantage than just a guy is auto trading and don't know what he's doing we're gonna start with the precision auto trade this is uh, the precision auto trade it's a total different auto trade lately when uh, we have a new clients what we are doing we're saying stay on precision auto trade to start with the reason is that auto trade has nothing to do with the signal entries and it is very easy to maintain very easy to understand and it does not have any filter it is it just the best start with auto trading is in here and then you can move up to the most complex advanced automated trades we have so we have an auto trade for beginners 
and all the way to the most, even we have for companies, they are using much more complex and they are using different auto trades. So there is something for everyone's need, uh, but the main thing is to learn how to read the market when you are auto trading. And then the auto trades are there from a reversal to the institutional, which we are going to release institutional auto trades is 20 times bigger than the precision auto trade. So there is a plenty auto trades. We're not talking from weakness, but we need to understand what's going on. And we need to understand what time frame we need to use, what experience we have and how much money uh, we have at the risk when we are trading. So we're gonna start with a, just a normal one, is the scalper uh, NASDAQ at three minutes, 1200, all of them, they are on a $1,000 target. And always we try to finish before 12 o'clock because we don't wanna sit all day long trading. This is not good for you, neither your account to sit on a gambling table all day long. This is not healthy, folks. And this is uh, the CL, if you want to use a wider range. Um, and uh, the, the precision auto trade can take a trade with the trend. CL, we are done with it. Now we, uh, on the ES, which most of the traders uh, trade the ES, uh, we're giving you an example here from five minutes of scalping to another five minutes. You can see the difference is 1950, and this one here is 1250, and it is all depend on the setting you are using. If you wanna use a bigger trade or a smaller trade, you wanna scalp or you wanna swing trade. So as you see, two charts, the same auto trade can give you different results that depends on the setting or the condition you put on the auto trade. If you wanted to have a small trade, uh, sneak into the market, get small trades and get out, or if you are looking for a big fish, it's all up to the trader, it's not up to us. Uh, ES on the 170 ticks, which I highlight every single video, the 170 ticks, is a very friendly use, very good, and it is very consistent, and a nailed 1400. And uh, three minutes, 1325 scalping. So there is a big difference between scalping and swing trading, as you see here. NASDAQ, uh, we have 400 take on the NASDAQ, 1700 uh, on the on the 590, which I highlight all the time, the 590 takes on the chart. And if we notice on the NASDAQ have taken a reversal and it drove all the way from the top all the way to the bottom and knelt 6,815. Uh, uh, Actually on the other channel uh, we went live, we had the NASDAQ, another one on the TI7 was up to $7,000 and um, you can see it on the other channel. NASDAQ 350 took a trade with the trend and then reversed the market 1100. On the CL, this is a three different CL from the four range to the 12 range to the 22nd and you can see how they are and you can see uh, the, the, the 22nd uh, is always finished even before 11 o'clock, if you start around nine o'clock, whether you are using ES, CL, NASDAQ, Dow Jones, on the, on the smaller time frame, you dive into a lot of action, and if you are aware what's going on, you can be in and out uh, very soon. If you are using, as an example, 12 range, you are looking for a bigger fish and less noises in the market, and then once you catch the trend, you can go and, and catch a big fish if the market is trending. If the market is not trending, then the 28 second or the 20 second 
it is more to your advantage. If this market trended, you will have less trade and bigger fish to catch from bottom to the top, from the bottom to the top, or from the top to the bottom, as we see on the Nasdaq, from the top to the bottom, ignite a reversal, and then and if it needs to be traded with the trend, the auto trade will trade with the trend. In 2022, you cannot get an ATR auto trade, and you think you're gonna get away with it. You cannot auto trade move an average, and then you think you're gonna uh, trade it on ES, Nasdaq, Dow Jones, uh, DAX. Uh, uh, you cannot get away with it, especially if you don't have the technical chart sitting right next to it. On the CL4 range, is very consistent, and it is really a very good. Uh, the range chart, which is the range chart, is very hard, and you can see on the last trade we did uh, 1600, and you can see how the market, the market has a V shape, and the market, uh, the the auto trade nailed the V shape on the way down, and then on the way up. It's not the PNL, is how the auto trade behave. Uh, in the stress environment, in a good environment, in a trending environment, because during the daytime, there is a plenty um, action in the market. It goes sideways and trend, spikes, and then stops. So there is many levels you experience to do at the daytime. And then, uh, and uh, uh, using uh, your, your knowledge in conjunction with the auto trade uh, brand stability. It's not the amount of money, it's the consistency of trading. It is the most important and the timing when you start your auto trade and when you stop your auto trade. This is this is the basic before you even thinking about auto trading. Uh, three minutes uh, scalping EAS uh, right on the spot 1000. Again 28 second uh, on the ES and I nailed one trade and it was done on the uh, ES 1000 and now we have uh, one more trade here uh, is up open and uh, we had 920 and I want to show this example we have 920 and right now on the last trade has did go back against us uh, on this last trade on the 48 second it's not over yet it might go up again, but if you see 920 into profit and the auto trade is not taking trade or 950 or you are missing uh, 60 or $100 and now it is 331 in the afternoon, then, you know, stop it. Don't push it to just get this last 100 or $150. If you are into the profit, leave it alone. And, and if you missed a hundred dollar to get your daily target, forget it because this last hundred dollar uh, can be problem for you. As you see right now, it's coming back up again on the CL, but that is a very dangerous. We need to understand to say, okay, it is over for today and we are stopping. Uh, CL 20 second we have covered. Uh, CL five minutes is came in right on the spot and uh, took those trades. Uh, on the CL three minutes, uh, did very well, 2200. YM, the YM look uh, on the range is uh, very hard uh, on the range. And if you forget the PNL, it made $1,000 today. But it's not that, it's not that. Because the YM on the range is very hard to trade, YM on the range chart. and. We don't need to look at the PNL. What we need to look at consistency, how many losing trades we have and how many winning trades we have on that chart. And it is overwhelming. The losing trades are hardly rare on this charts. And that's what is called consistency, not the PNL. You are digging in the wrong place. So. When we are trading, we can see there is a losing trade here, but the majority of those trades are winning trade. They are much more than a losing trade. That means it's success. It means this chart template 
is working good if you have one or two losing trade in the session and the rest is winning does mean it can be taken anytime if the market is moving you will get more winning trade or losing trade but if the market not moving a lot at least your losing trades are uh, minimized and it's not gonna uh, give severe damage uh, to your account so this is more, much more important to uh, understand how many winning trades how many losing trades when you are auto trading is much more important than it's just a normal PL whether you make 4,000 if you make on the Nasdaq today on a 500 6,800 it could be tomorrow $100 it's not even 1,000 it depends on the market movement so what we need to look at the market movement and what is the chances or what is the winning trades against the losing trade so we can stay uh, in control with the market and uh, we stop when we see the market is finished for today like what we have done today on the other channel uh, once we hit the target three on the ES we called it off and it was nothing left on this one here the gold if you are a gold trader is a very consistent we only have one chart on the gold we don't need many charts and the gold has hit the four, uh, the the 1300 base on the scalping. Uh, let's uh, jump to different auto trade called the TI7. The TI7 is total different auto trade. Have uh, many big variety of entries, and have many uh, variety of filters. And the reason for that is whatever works on the ES not necessarily works as an entry on the NASDAQ. What works on the NASDAQ does not work on the gold. What works on the gold does not work on the DAX. So this is a, it's not a just a wash machine. You put the ES, NASDAQ, down zones, and you think you're gonna get away with it with an ATR entry or a MACD auto trade or an ATR auto trade. You will never get up and go with it and uh, that is uh, it is also there is around 10 different entry and uh, uh, 10 uh, different filter we also have a bigger auto trade than that which we are gonna release the upgrade uh, on Monday and it is the institutional auto trade is much higher much bigger auto trade than even the TI-7. So what I'm saying is to start with a, a small normal auto trade yet as powerful auto trade and then you start moving up with your trades and you can get and set uh, the auto trade uh, to your condition. Uh, this one here it was done a long time ago and uh, it was done before 11 o'clock which we are going to release that on Monday to our traders. And this one here, the institutional have much even bigger than the TI-7. We cannot cover every single auto trade. We have the reversal auto trade. We cannot cover everything in here. We need 20 computers to cover everything. But uh, there is a plenty of tools for the guy is willing to work. So in the morning session, we had a beautiful run on this auto trade. It was done and then we reloaded. And this is the second round on that auto trade. And if you are happy for what you got, it takes from the top one button here, close position and it's done. And you're done for today, 1600. So it is very, we made everything simple and powerful at the same time. If you're done with this one here, close position, and we made 960, that's fine on this one here. On the ES, five minutes, we did the 1200. Scalp in the ES, one minute. You know, this is funny because I had two new customers today, and they're both mentioned about the one minute when we uh, have highlight, and both of them said the same. 
they said they have auto trades. They tried to auto trade the one minute or they tried to use an indicator for one minute. It didn't work because what we have said on the previous videos, if your auto trade does not work on the one minute, you are wasting your time. That's why you see all those banana charts called line break, rank of bars. Of course, you can trade rank of bars with that, but I will never show rank of bars because this is weakness. I always make fun of those people because rank of bars are fake and, and, and they try to refuge with uh, uh, all kind of weird looking charts because they cannot show one minute chart. And the one minute speaks for that auto trade or any indicator you have. Uh, if you put it on one minute, you can test this indicator if it's working or not. That's why you see a lot of marketing for Renko bars because Renko bar cover the negative of this indicator or the auto trade. So all those fake or a line break on all those fake charts because they cannot their auto trade perform on the one minute. And two people, two new people, they have tested their system on the one minute and they find out it was a piece of junk. And they have confirmed it for me. And it is funny because two, both of them today, uh, they were confirming uh, what, what I have said on my previous videos, that if your auto trade does not perform on the one minute or your indicator is piece of junk. As you see here on the scalper, it is 1,400 on this. It is the same auto trade. It's exactly the same auto trade, but different setting. And this one here, it is the one minute chart on the ES, but it is a swing trading and it is 2,750. Both of them, this chart and that chart is on, on one minute. You can scalp on the TI7. There is a three different scalping system in there. You can swing trade. You can do many things and you can set the rules and the condition for the auto trade, how you want it to trade, how you want it on a breakout, on a pullback re-entry or based on levels. Or there is so many other options with filter in there and you can trim it down to two trades a day and you can make it as aggressive as you want. It all depends on the trader, how he want to run his auto trade. It's not me. We provide tools and what you do with it, we help you, we educate you, and the rest is up to you how you want to uh, 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 in, uh, get in, in into the market and, and how you want to play the market. The higher risk, higher reward, and then on and on and on. Uh, on the to ES three minutes, which I also like the three minutes, the three minutes is not a high time frame and it's not a low time frame and very consistent the three minutes. And then if you set the rules on this auto trade with the three minutes, uh, you are more relaxed when you are trading. Uh, then uh, you have the NASDAQ scalping is on 38 seconds. And then we have the CL uh, on the three minutes. Uh, we have the CL also here on two minutes. And we have the ES11 range. Again, if you wanted to use a higher time frame, you can use a higher time frame, less trade, and a much more efficiency uh, on the bigger trade and less noises. This all depends also what you want to do. On this chart, the NASDAQ, we were showing on the other chart, uh, on the other channel today, how you can maximize your profit and take over the auto trade and what I mean by taking over the auto trade by just use the close button when you see the market maximize profit on this one here it is 5845 if you look on the other channel when we were going live this one here was a little over 7000 and then if we left it the auto trade we ended up with 5,800. If we close it when they, when we maximize the market, we could have end up over 7,000 on those trades. So the difference is around $2,000 by knowing what's going on.
And let's look at the other ones. We covered the 11 range. We covered the CL2 minutes. And then here it is ES3 minutes, 1,700. The difference between this ES3 minutes and let's see if we have, and this ES3 minutes, you can see they're almost the same. This one is 1,000 and uh, this one here is 1,300. Uh, on this ES one minute twenty seven hundred, uh, YM three minutes, uh, one thousand six hundred, and then uh, we covered this ES. Uh, folks, that's all what we have. Uh, I will. I wish you a really pleasant evening, and uh, we will see you on the other channel tomorrow live. Thank you very much, and God bless you all. Bye.